Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Lava. This is a smoked imperial stout brewed by Uwe Schult Brugges, who are an Icelandic brewing company. And I probably just really screwed up their name, so uh, sorry about that, but I don't know how to pronounce um, Icelandic words. So yeah. But I've heard a great deal of really good stuff about this beer. Never had an Icelandic beer. Let's go ahead and crack into this. Um, since this is a imperial stout, you'll want to serve it at about 55 degrees. And this is 9.4% ABV, so a pretty big beer. And what's really cool is the illustration on the front of the bottle is the view that the brew house has when the volcano Hecla erupts. So they're pretty close, actually. It's uh, pretty interesting and part of the reason for the name Lava, of course. But yeah, I've, I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. I've actually had it for a few months here. Alright. So, as you can see, that pours out pitch black. There is no light whatsoever. And a nice, about three, three and a half fingers of really creamy, dark tan mocha head. Uh, looks phenomenal. Let's go ahead and take our first sniff. Okay, so right off the bat, I get a lot of roasted malt, some dark chocolate. Kind of smells slightly creamy, actually. And uh, not too much smoke. It's there, but it's not real in your face. Almost smells like a hint of vanilla. Uh, but yeah, this smells really tasty. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, wow. Right off the bat, there's a lot of roasted, almost like charred uh, malt flavor. A uh, good deal of dark chocolate in there as well. It's, um, it's got this balance between the dark chocolate being bitter, but also slightly sweet at the same time. You know, they mix really well. Um, I'm getting a little bit more smoke in the taste than I did in the aroma, but overall, it's really not as smoke forward as I would have assumed. I mean, it's there, but it's not as smoky as some beers tend to be, but this is really easy to drink. Um, 9.4% is hidden well, other than there is a slight uh, warming effect at the very end, like you can't taste or smell the alcohol, but there is a little bit of a warming effect. And it's a super rich and creamy full body beer. Really, really nice. Uh, this would go great with dessert, actually. Or it could just be dessert. Um, it's not that sweet, but the roasted malts, um, you know, almost like those charred notes, combine really well with the smoke because it's like a combination of kind of like a meaty smoke along with uh, like a campfire or something and that blends really well with the dark chocolate because it's uh, you know kind of bitter just like the roasted malts are bitter and it has a slight sweetness that kind of balances everything out because it's a bitter beer overall but it could be a lot more so if there wasn't that slight uh, sweetness and at the very end I detect a little bit of vanilla not much but a little bit But yeah, this is great. It almost has, you know, like that body is almost kind of like a milk stout. It's just creamy, rich. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Um, for a rating, I'm going to go with a 4.4. This is really tasty. And honestly, the only thing that's keeping me from scoring it a little bit higher is the fact that for a bottle that's not quite a bomber, it costs $12. Now, don't get me wrong. It's an import, so imports are always a little bit more expensive. But $12 for a bottle of this is a little steep. And at that price, I'm not sure if I'd buy it again. Like I said, this is really tasty. All the elements come together perfectly almost. Like this is a great imperial stout. But 
It's just, you know, the price is a bit of a deterrent, and the availability makes this pretty hard to get a hold of. Uh, if they were to drop it a few dollars, I would seriously buy this beer all the time. I, I really enjoy this. But, uh, yeah, that does it for this beer review, guys. And remember, if you want to see any particular beer review, just leave me a comment, and I will try and get to that. All right, I'm going to get back to enjoying this delicious beer, and I hope whatever you guys are doing involves good craft beer. See ya.